he'll wave dash very quickly and then jump so that like almost like straight up. So that he's he goes very far forward and then holds a whole zone with like powerful aerials. And Luigi does have some like power to him for sure. Yeah, and meanwhile on the other uh, side of the screen we have a uh, another Sheik and seven. a buff. So yep, seven and Waddle. Similar strategy. Whoa, big that combo. That's what we like to see, the team's combos, the passes, right? Volleyball, yeah. tennis. And so the thing about uh, Sheik in teams is that her moves are very good, but she has to kind of position herself, yeah. She has to often position herself ahead of time to get the combo because she's not that quick. Yes. So it was really good for Juicebox to space himself all the way across the screen, recognizing just how strong um, this moves are going to be. That way he can follow up and pass back again. Yes, um, among the top tier characters, I always say Sheik is deceptively slow. Yes, I agree. Uh, She's quick, but not fast, right? Yes. Um, she's really good at looking quick. Her moves are quick. You know, when she shield drop fairs, it's insane. But in terms of her overall speed, Practical. compared to, like, Fox, Actual Falcon, mobility, Marth, yeah. You know, yeah, exactly. Actual mobility. And look, there's another case where um, it goes both ways. The Ouija just had no possible way to help uh, Juice Box get back. Yeah, and there was an unfortunate SD. You hate to see that thing happen. <laughs> we <laughs> we see uh, Waddle and Seven having a bit of a difficult time like getting together, but actually performing rather well otherwise. If it wasn't for like a couple of the big teams combos we saw, I think this would be much closer. Yeah, I mean, all things considered, they're 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 sort of similar but just, teams. But just right? yeah, in many ways they are. But just look at like if you look at the positioning most of the time, and if you just like scroll to any part of the match and then pause it, I think more often than not, you're going to see blue, green, green, blue, which yes. means that they can access each other and both opponents at all times. Yeah, just job. Excellent job grabbing the ledge. Yeah, and I mean, if you're not looking for that, it's not immediately obvious why the green team is really up by two full stocks, pretty much. Yes. And uh, that's the reason why. Yeah, something that the blue team does have access to is, uh, wow. He just was, uh, he was done with that stock. It's better to get out of there fast, honestly. Yeah, get back and, and help your partner, right? Yeah, instead of uh, letting him get 2v1 for so long. And that was actually a lot of damage Waddle was able to put on this thing. Yeah, I, I, I'd say that the blue team, they, ha they have a shortcut uh, to what the green team has been doing, and that's the Sheik gets a grab and the Puff presses down B. We haven't seen it yet. It's actually ridiculous. So uh, Sheik's back throw in particular, it's not that easy to time, but if you get the spacing just right, uh, she kind of like sticks the opponent out on her foot for a moment before actually releasing them. And that's a prime time to rest. It's out there for like, I don't know, a tenth of a second or something. Oh, and this is where you don't want to be sandwiched between them. When you have both teammates sandwiched between the opponents, that's when things get really bad. All right, I was about to say, so usually in this situation, when it was three stocks and you both have high percent versus the opponent's two stocks at low percent, if you're gonna make a comeback, you have to do it early then. Because I don't see this wow. happening anymore. Yeah, holy. You God. know what? I <laughs> wow, lots of team combos. Yeah. So it looks like um, Vist and Juicebox are very good at the like, sort of like the conveyor belt combos, right? Where you hit them. Mm -hmm. with like a strong horizontal like semi-spike type move mm -hmm. and then you hit them with another one and before you know it they're way off the stage and then yeah. from there they get another combo started or complete an edge guard really consistently so it's been um working out really well for them so far yeah the thing about waddle and seven hopefully they're not too down on themselves uh they they played pretty good all things okay, considered yeah. there were some some very key mistakes uh especially at the end there um not really sure they had much of a, a game plan for that kind of situation. Uh, Sheik took the stock, and it's as if he if Sheik never took the stock. She immediately got messed up. With how weak Sheik and Luigi's recoveries are uh, in teams in particular, I think for Waddle and Seven to have success, first off, I probably, I don't know if I would have picked Dreamland or not, but I guess just Puff Shirog's ability is good. Yeah. But I think it's going to be critical for them not to go into blue, um, blue, green, green, blue that often. Because that, if you're in the center of the stage, you're not going to end up off as much. Yeah. And you can see we get a double edge guard out of it, and Waddle unable to save seven, and they're already down a stock. Yeah, it's not the way you want things to start off on your counter pick. Uh, but, all right, edge guard opportunity. They get one. All right, not too much damage on Luigi, and it actually looks like Mist was somehow able to weasel his way uh, to get a, just a little bit of stage control. 
I really like, I think that was a jab from Juice Box. Yeah. It keeps um, seven and hits done just long enough that we can uh, get this to safely recover. And now he's over 100%. Ah, oh, the Sheik's getting cooked. <laughs> Fried Ninja, anybody? <laughs> Fried Ninja. There's a little bit of a miscue again. Oh, and Vist, with ever the opportunist, comes in with the back air, recognizes that the Sheik has no jumps, all stage, and he's like, you know what? And I, just, I yeah. actually can't believe the air dodge because Waddle did the perfect counter edge guard coming down with a like a huge act active forward air. Yeah. And Vist finds a way to air dodge past it. That's ridiculous. That should be traded stocks. Instead, they get some more mileage off of it. It's still not too bad uh, for the blue team, but I, I really think that in order for them to come out ahead, they're going to have to start putting people to sleep soon. Well, I'd have to start going to sleep. Oh, yes. Going to sleep, <laughs> putting people to sleep. You know what I'm talking about. I do, I do. <laughs> I, I like the little Nair save. Weak move. Uh, meant to keep seven in playing field. Unfortunately, he just gets kind of uh, rocketed out into the blast zone instead. Yeah, I wonder if he had opted up the, if it was possible for the save there. I feel like you should always try to survive if possible. But, you know, it might have been a lost cause there. I don't know how long he was in hit stun. Wow. So uh, one thing, if you're playing, I guess, any team, really, you can watch the way Juicebox and Vist are sandwiching their opponents. They're giving them just a little bit of room of putting out hitboxes on either side, such that you feel like you can't move anywhere. And to be honest, you really can't, can't or you're going to get hit. And if you do manage to hit your opponent, it's probably death for you, because that recovery that you put yourself in is going to be just enough for, you know, Luigi to wave dash in and get his up smash or something. Wow, big combo from Vist, and so I like that. A lot of the times, what a beautiful jab. jab save. Yeah, a lot of the times, the best way uh, to fight a 2v1 is to actually fight it. Like, a lot of times you see people back away and try to, like, you know, go and shield and get all, like, turtle up until their teammate comes back. Sometimes they expect you to do that so much that if you throw out some early hitboxes while they're trying to chase you down, you yeah. just, like, earn yourself enough time that they can come back. And you get the percent to boot. Yeah, I mean, you, you basically temporarily treat it like there's just two separate ice climbers, right? You kick one, you kick the other one, and then you move somewhere safe, and your partner comes back, and then teams continue. Yes. Because, like, a big part, like, if you just think about it this way, if you can maximize the amount of time you have advantages um, in any fighting game ever, uh, you're going to probably win most matches. And if you minimize the time your opponents are at advantages, in teams, sometimes it's very, very clear. It's based on stage positioning, if you're fighting 2v1s instead of, you know, 1v1s, um, or instead of, like, 2v2s. All these things build up over time. You're yes. able to get the big combos, like, bigger conversions, which... Um, are often hard to get in teams just for the fact that there's so many opportunities for them to be interrupted. Um, if you can build up enough